thank you so much for joining us. We've got Ramona Shelburne with us, Matt Barnes back with us. And you worked out at the Mamba Sports Academy. You worked with Kobe mm -hmm. and Gigi Bryant, and you went to UConn. Gianna had her heart set on going yeah. to UConn. What was it like to be around them together? It was amazing. The first time I met them was um, at the Final Four at UConn, mm -hmm. and um, I mean, Gigi would talk about it all the time. I mean, <laughs> uh, after we lost my junior year, mm -hmm. Kobe was telling us that she was like crying in the car, super upset. She's like, I can't believe that happened again. When I get to UConn, I'm never allowing that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> she was super competitive, just like him, and it was just a joy to be around them. And their relationship with each other, you know, look, Ramona, you and I yeah. saw them together all quite the time. a bit, yeah. especially around here in Los Angeles. What did you notice about him and his parent? Well, look, he, uh, he got to the office early uh, every day. He would get there you know seven eight o'clock in the morning and he would work till 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. and then at 2 p.m. he left because his he, he needed to go pick up his kids from school and he didn't like waiting in the line right <laughs> the, the carpool line so he, Brian is he competitive. had to be first that's right he had to be first the carpool line. that's right so he would get to the school and he would be first in line to pick up his kids every day and then he'd drop them back off at home and he'd go back to the office and put in a couple more hours of work and you know I thought I thought about that the other day uh, just because you know, he, he missed a lot of that when he was playing. He was so maniacal about his training. Um, and Gigi really started coming along with him on a lot of things. Like, she, they were like two peas in a pod, right? Um, the Lakers trainer, Gary Vitti, the other day just posted a video where he was texting with Kobe, and he, he, he sent him a video of Kobe, and he goes, see this move? He recognized this move anywhere? And it was a it was a turnaround, just like that famous Kobe turnaround. Like, you could just, just amazing you could just tell it. it was, like, in her blood. Like, she mm -hmm. just had that muscle memory. And that your kids play AAU. His, yeah. obviously, Gianna and her teammates <laughs> on AAU. We would what see each other, like, every two weeks. Yeah. You know what I mean? We would see each other out in Orange County playing tournaments, and, and, and he just always made it a point to come and see my boys play. You know, he as much security had to be around him <laughs> and all this kind of stuff. He would come, and we, we even feels for two minutes and just peek on the boys sometimes. Sometimes he would stay longer, but it just it's the, it's the little things he did uh, that were so special. But to, to touch on Jeezy, I mean, she was very – like, I would – you know, after our games, we would go watch their games, and she really had that fire. She really had his competitive edge, and she was – she was a killer, you know what I mean? So it was cool just to see him as now a fan of her mm -hmm. and, and, and supporting her and, and what she's doing. I mean, look, there's so many things that are tragic about this situation, but the mm -hmm. young girls on that helicopter are the thing for me that are just, it's so hard to even get past in your grief because of what their whole lives could have been like. In the case of Gianna, I heard someone say the other day, she could have grown up to be the greatest women's basketball player ever. She certainly had the bloodlines. She has been elite trained right. from three years old and had the competitive will. We've seen the tributes from UConn. We've seen Sabrina Ionescu having tributes uh, for, for Gianna and for Kobe. What Kobe did with his emphasis for his daughters on women's basketball, women's sports overall, what did that mean to the WNBA community? It meant so much just having someone like Kobe Bryant, one of the best to ever play, and you see him openly supporting the women's game, not just supporting, but you see like Sabrina there, just the relationships that he had were so personal. It wasn't just for show. It was right. like, yeah. it was real for him. And just having that support, I mean, it was invaluable for us and it meant so much to us in the women's program and just for the women's game. I mean, the women's game has so much value on its own. Yeah. It always drives me a little crazy when people want to compare it to the men's game or say yeah. it has value because, well, Kobe liked it, so it's good. It's, it's good on its own. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. But there is something about someone that everyone admires, yeah. and whether it's a movie he recommends or a basketball game he likes, there are people yeah. who want to say, well, I want to check this out if yeah. Kobe checks it out, right? Yeah. yeah, it's not just, it's not the value. It's just kind of bringing exposure because mm -hmm. we know that we're good. We know that what we bring to the table, yeah. but just the exposure that he brings with him and having him openly support us, it was just like, it was amazing. Of all the times you worked out with, with Gigi and around them, what is going to be your memory of Gianna Bryant as you go forward? Uh, actually, the last time I worked out with them was um, right before Christmas in New York. Mm. And uh, we were playing one-on-one, -on -one and she's 13, and, <laughs> you know, she was just going at me as hard as she could, not backing down at all. <laughs> that sounds like him at the Sixers practice, yeah, right? exactly, right? <laughs> I, uh, yeah. And she was getting mad at herself that she was losing. I'm like, that what sounds about right. <laughs> I'm a professional athlete. I'm right. taller than you. But you know what's it's amazing? It's when, uh, when Kobe was retiring, uh, I did this long interview, and I said, hey, we're, are we going to see you around? Are you going to be mm -hmm. back in, at Staples Center? Are you going to be sitting courtside? And he goes, no, nah, man, I'm not, I'm not, I don't need to come back to L.A. Mm -hmm. um, and I go, he, I have everything I need down in Orange County. I, maybe here and there, but nah. You know why he came back? 
Because Gianna wanted to go to Sparks yeah. games, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, and, and like he didn't just show up at games; he was deeply involved in that. Mm -hmm. He would watch the women's college tournament every single year. I know he developed relationships with like the best college players, the best WNBA players. Candace Parker developed a relationship over with him. He called her before she played in the WNBA championship and gave her words of advice. I mean, th this was not just like Twitter support, right? This Absolutely. was real support. And 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 Gigi's the one who brought him really back to yeah. the NBA yes. as well. Yeah. She had favorite players. We've heard Trey Young talk about <laughs> that. He went to take her to go see Luka Doncic. He, she is the one that made him want to go and be a fixture in the NBA world again. Yeah. Peace, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah. We really appreciate it.